Well, hello and welcome to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video with me, Peasy Cheese. We are here again on my... My... I am getting my words mixed up already and I'm only five seconds into the video. Uh, this is my my uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition server, online server, with a few friends of mine. It's a private server, unfortunately, but um, you guys can get involved by... Uh, given us some comments and suggestions and stuff like that and um, I will be working on one of those suggestions a little bit later in the video but um, I just want to show you guys what I've been up to so um, we've got economy all set up so we can now buy gunpowder which means uh, we can mix that with sand and make TNT and I have made this ridiculously huge um, I call it a blast mine. It's like it's all all just mined with TNT. You can see all the redstones kind of left. I'll get it in a while. I, I get money for it in economy for mining it, but it, I can't really do much with it apart from you see I've got like, I've got stacks of it. I've got I think I've got nearly near enough. Got half a stack of blocks of them. But um, it's it's a it's pretty effective and and to be honest, a very fun way of mining. So basically, this is this is what I tend to do. I I, I kind of dig three into the wall and then uh, light the one at the front, and then if you watch, it'll go boom, boom, boom. There we go, and then if I get some torches out, I can see if it, see, it's uncovered some iron, so yeah, there we go. Um, it's, I, 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 I like mining like this, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really happy at the moment, because we've got economy sorted, so we have all the items we need, so I don't have to be bothering with going to the console and cheating and having to use OP commands and stuff. So we're we're playing proper survival with with economy, and um, what the uh, this will this will do for the blast mining just now. I'm going to show you another little cool thing. Uh, I'll quickly um I'll quickly teleport back to my blast mine home. See with the with the essential TP plugin that we have, uh, you can. You can make multiple homes, and and you can see here, see at the side here, it says opening, closing, nether chest. Uh, this is another really cool plugin. It's like Ender chests, uh, basically. If you put a chest on top of nether rack, then um, that chest can be accessed anywhere from from another chest that sat on top of nether rack. So as you can see, I've I've been mining away. I've I've got a fair few bits here now. I'll quickly um. It seems that furnaces are still a little bit buggy. Oh, it seems to be working alright just now. I'll just throw them all in. Who, who cares? Who cares? And I'm, this, this is another glitch that really annoys me too. Um, you, you can't get rid of like they, they don't disappear when they run out. They just kind of, they keep on, they just stay in your inventory. And you can, you can kind of use them forever, but it's very annoying because it keeps kind of like dropping out of your hotbar. In fact, I'll quickly show you. <laughs> I just threw them all down just to just to show you. So if I mine a block, it disappears. And uh, if I look, it's still there. You know. So if I mine this, mines a block, but it disappears. And I'll do it with the last one there. See the old the old well that it's every every now and again they stay on the hot bar, but most of the time they drop off straight away. And as you can see, they're all still there. So what I've done, I've, I've we can buy lava as well in our economy market. So a, a quite an easy one to do. I, I use this in survival mode in like just the regular game. I, I get like a pit of lava, and if you throw stuff in there, it, it burns away, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to quickly show you how this nether chest works by um, teleporting back to my house. Where am I going? It's a uh, bed. Is that it? Oh, no. Um, home. Bedroom. Hey, that's the one. And oh, oh, where are we? And as you can see, next to my bed here is another nether chest. So, there we go. All, all the exact same stuff that I had before. And I want to see... It doesn't work. Something. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll quickly type something into the console just to see. I want to see if this works. No, it doesn't seem to be working. I tried to get a plugin that makes that makes things bouncy, but um, it's it's not working for some reason. Unless unless like I have to. Um, no, I can't do it. <laughs> we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Um, oh wait, I'm I'm going back upstairs. Uh, so basically, um, Caitlin put a comment, I, I say Caitlin, uh, she, her name was Caitlin on our old Kingdom Craft server that we used to run, 
and uh, her name now on YouTube anyway is KK Gaming X. I think that I think that's right. Um, but she has uh, given us a suggestion of. Oh, I thought I had loads more glass than that. Oh, that's a little bit worrying. Do I have any sand? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I saw someone. They disappeared. Oh, are we on? I th I've got a feeling that um, we're a little bit buggy at the moment, so I might have to try a different build in a little while. But um, what I'm going to do is... I don't even have that much dirt. But um, basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start building my... Um, my underwater base, which was uh, which was uh, KK Gaming X idea. She said uh, she suggested that we build one in the lake, and I assume she means the lake next to um, S'more and Just Need Stuff's house. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in the sea. I call it a sea. It's it's actually a very big lake, but I call it the Circle Sea. And I'm gonna do my little underwater house somewhere out here. Probably see in this little indent bit here in that little indent bit over there. I'm, I'll, I'll do it there. And I, I, I kind of find this kind of funny, like if you look at the generation of the world, it's actually grass that's underwater, rather than the regular generation of like, whatever it is, uh, sand, sand, gravel, and dirt, or um, I, I can't remember, there's other stuff, stone as well. That's tree done recording. Well, I am still recording tree. Um, okay, where, where am I going to do this? I'm going to do this here. So I'm, I'm going to... I'm, what I'll do is I will quickly give you a demonstration of what I'm going to do. So I'm lagging a little bit. <laughs> Had to do it in four parts. I think all of us are kind of struggling a little bit with some of our videos. We keep on... Because uh, Shu makes the game crash sometimes. Uh, we have to kind of like do do the video in sections. So like every every time my game crashes, I just start a new video now because I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna keep going, like go back into the game and then come back afterwards and find out that it stopped recording after the game crashed. So I, I just start new videos just to be safe, and uh, it's, it's it's incredibly easy to do it. If you guys want to do some YouTube videos for Minecraft, all you have to do is download Shoe TV. Just go to mu for iOS.com. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description, uh, so you guys can, so you guys know where to go. So basically, this is this is the idea. This is this is how it works. Oh, let me get rid of that. So um, basically, we fill up dirt on the inside, and we then get rid of the dirt. And then we put glass at the front like that. And that should stop, get rid of all the water. So yeah. So here's, like, I'm, I'm in a little underwater base now. So um, what I'm going to do off, off camera is I'm, I'm going to kind of extend this a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a waterfall over there. There's a big cave behind it. I'm going to do something with that as well. Maybe I can link up this underground base to that cave. That would be quite cool. So yeah, um, this is going to be the start of my little base. I, I know I, I kind of can't get out now, but... What I will do is I shall set home. What shall I call this little base? Um, um, sea Shack. Is the underwater Sea Shack? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just write Sea Shack. That'll be easy for me to type later. Sea Shack. So it's the underwater Sea Shack. So here we are. <laughs> in a little underwater sea shack. I see these floating leaves. This is starting to bug me. People are going around chopping down trees and they they don't get rid of the leaves. And uh, in, in the server build, the leaves don't kind of disappear. After, after a while, they kind of just sit there. And I spent a hell of a lot of time the other day uh, just clearing leaves and trees. So um, let's, let's go back up to spawn. So yeah, it, it frustrates me a little bit because like all of this area, I kind of totally cleaned. And you can see tree there, Jenny. You hit one one emerald wealth level. Oh, and she distracted Jenny, and Jenny fell from a high place. But there, there's another cool thing. Um, what we did was um, well, what I what I did was I added a, a plugin called Keep in Keep Inventory. So when we die now, we keep our inventory, which is it's. I know it's I know it's cheating a little bit, but it's it's just really frustrating on a server sometimes when it can be buggy and you die because of glitches, which in this case happens quite a lot because um. Um, I, I think you saw when I was down in my blast mines, I had uh, cobblestone and dirt all across the bedrock so that 
so that I don't stand on the bedrock because if you stand on the bedrock sometimes you just fall through it and you just keep falling 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 until well I end up just like warping myself out but um here we go anyway this is this is our export board so this is where we can sell all our stuff so as you can see like I'll, I'll show you I've got dirt here so wait, let me do that so dirt and it will say are you sure you want to sell dirt for 50 pound 50 dollars 50 money tap again to confirm Oh, you have to double tap, and there we go. So you saw my my dirt just disappeared there, and I got some money. Let's have a look at top money. See see who's uh, ruling the server at the moment. I think Tree is just yeah, Tree's <laughs> Tree's on like thirty three thousand. But she was saying um, uh, that Jenny had just hit one em emerald wealth. As you can see, she's like seven thousand. One emerald. Um, where are we? It's uh, up here in in Wally's wacky wares. So an emerald costs like five thousand. You can't do anything with emeralds, but um, I just kind of thought we should have something there. So later on, when we have competitions, people can win an emerald, you know, and they can do what they want with it. But yeah, it's it's, it's just going to be kind of our show of wealth. So if you if you hear any of us talking about um, emeralds and emerald wealth and stuff like that, you'll know. And I've kind of I fixed all the stuff that was wrong with these. I've added uh, cookies, uh, mushrooms up here. Um, what else was added? Uh, cactuses, sugarcane, cactuses, cacti. I'm sorry, uh, and I think I think that was it. Every, everything else was there before. And just quickly before I finish the video, I'll t I'll tell you about this uh, plugin that we got. It's again, I will uh, I'll add it in the description. Uh, another one of the things that's uh, quite frustrating with uh, Pocket Edition servers at the moment is a lot of them. Uh, the crops don't grow properly. As you can see down here, I've put a couple of saplings down. They have been there literally for days <laughs> and they're not doing anything. So you have to grow trees with bone meal just now so we can buy bones at the market to do that. But um, we've got this farm plugin, which is which is really great. It, um, it allows you to control the speed of crops. So by adding this farm plugin, it actually makes the crops grow and now that we've got everything as you can see I've got like potatoes, carrots, sugarcane, my sugarcane's bugged just now I think I need to replant it and I've got a load and load of wheat so yeah it's pretty good we're getting there it's 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 getting really good and uh, we've got a few more things to do I think a couple of other people are gonna come and build some underwater bases with me and I'll, I'm, I'll try and link that up to the um to the waterfall over there have some sort of underwater path or something but anyway that's all we have time for today um we will be back again very soon i am sure with the next video um i will leave a link into the description for um all the other players that we have on the server uh, most of them have their own youtube channels and they will be doing videos on the server themselves so i will have a link to them in the description of this and that's all for now thank you everyone for watching please like subscribe and comment give us some suggestions bye 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 bye